I'm gonna give you a couple of tips that when you're getting ready to buy a boat, I don't care if it's a kayak, I don't care if it's a pontoon boat, but, or a bass boat. I just got this new Express X21, and one of the things I thought about is how the weight is gonna be distributed in a boat. You got plenty of horsepower, so you can usually drive through anything. You got the Yamaha 250, you got talons, you got batteries, you got all that. But what happens is, if you don't distribute the weight, when you set, you'll list one way or another. So when I, when I set my boats up, I strategically position everything in the boats. Starting in the back, jack plate. It's gonna be centered perfectly. There's a line that centers that when I put it on. Then as you move forward, you've got, in this particular case, I got a 36 volt Minn Kota trolling motor, and I use four batteries for that 36 volt trolling motor. You got a starting battery and three for the 36 volts. I want those balanced. I don't want all the batteries on one side or any of that stuff. You've also got 30 gallons of fuel. Then as you move forward, all your storage compartments should be done exactly the same. If you got an anchor, you got whatever, you want to be able to put those in a position to where your weight's distri distributed. I'll be driving this boat 99% of the time by myself. So I'm going to look at having weight distributed a little bit heavy to the left-hand side of the boat as I'm driving it. I'm going to have a little bit less weight on the right-hand side of the boat. That way when I'm fishing or whatever I'm doing, the boat won't list one way or another. Storage compartments are done exactly the same. As much weight as you can put in the center of the boat, go for it. That's where all your storage should be. A lot of guys will use this as a rod box and storage on either side. You can do that, but the thing you want to do is distribute that weight effectively. I weigh everything. That's how I do things. I want to make sure that this boat is going to set level in the water. I want the most performance I can, and I want to get the most gas fuel economy that I possibly can. So when you get ready to buy that new boat, don't forget, set up your boat, the inside of your boat, and all the workings of the inside of your boat so it's balanced. Once you do that, it'll be a lot more effective on the water, you'll get a lot more speed, you'll get all the things you're looking for and make that new boat buy even better.